Over here, you can see we have this set of text that we want to split into three columns, so we can just use the text split formula for that. Here's the text, comma, and the column delimiter in quotations. We're just going to add a comma. That's essentially the separator for us. Wherever there's a comma, we want it to split into a different column, and we'll add a space in there as well. Close the quotations, close the parenthesis, and hit enter. Awesome, so that's working very well. But how about if we have something slightly different, like for example having the first name here and having the last name over here? How does this work now? Because we don't really have a comma between Kylie and Townsend. Well, we're going to have to get a bit more creative with the text split formula. We're just going to go back inside of it. And under the column delimiter, we somehow need to add two. One that it's a comma and then a space. And the second one when it's just a space. And for this, we can use the curly brackets and add the two separators inside. So in quotations, one is just a space, comma, and the second one is a comma and then a space. We need to close those curly brackets, close the parenthesis for the entire formula, and hit enter. Now you can see it split the first and last, as well as the ages too, and we can just drag this down by going all the way to the bottom. Like and follow for daily tips.